Hey golfers, I'm Drew Maholder, Second Swing Golf, joined here in the tour van of our Second Swing Minnetonka store with Kevin Kraft. Um, today's going to be a fun one. We have our, our best of series. This is part one of the game improvement iron for 2024. Kevin. So um, we've got four models here. And I think, you know, some of these manufacturers are going to release a new sort of series of game improvement iron every year. Mm -hmm. We see that here. We also have maybe one that's not Maybe you might be surprised in here to some of the viewers. So yeah, um, I'll just run through them right here quick. We got okay. the Cobra Dark Speed. Um, we've got the TaylorMade QI. We have the Callaway Paradigm AI Smoke, um, and then we also have the Cleveland Zip Core XL. So that's kind of the the one that might be a little bit out of left field for the viewers. So kind of let's run through each of these models and uh, what you like about them so far, Fiddy. Okay. Um all the models are better. All the models that had a previous gen model are yeah. better than their previous generation. Uh, one of the big changes that we've seen this year is a little higher trajectory and more spin, which from a fitter's perspective, that makes my life a whole mm -hmm. lot easier because I'm trying to make your life a whole lot easier and I can make your life a lot easier as long as we're getting good trajectory and spin numbers right. so that we get a good landing angle so the ball actually stops, right? It's great to be able to find more distance. Everybody seems to come in wanting more distance. Yep. Right? So, but if it, everything's coming in like this and rolling over the back of the green, that ain't any good. No, right? it's so, not gonna help a lot yeah. of people. So we want that ball to stop. So yep. we're definitely seeing better spin numbers and better trajectory numbers and better landing angle numbers because of that. And that's what we're really looking for. Ball speeds continue to get faster. So you're gonna continue to see distance gains. We just want good positive distance gains, mm -hmm. not distance gains that become a liability. Right, right. And so that's what each of these models here brings to the table. Um, and I guess I also wanted to address the wild card here a little bit. That is the Cleveland Zipcore XL. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> we just recorded a podcast this morning and I asked you to sort of uh, provide your maybe top five releases of yeah. the year here in 2024 early on. Yep. And one of them you said was Cleveland Zipcore XL irons. And so yeah. what about this one has you so intrigued so far? It's big and friendly and really good looking mm -hmm. and puts up good numbers. That there's nothing else to <laughs> say after that. I mean, <laughs> it, no, it looks good, right. it feels yeah. good, it sounds good, and it puts up good numbers. There you go. There you go. That's that's yeah. all that needs to be said here. Yeah. So um, what we're gonna do is gonna have you hit um, probably six to seven shots with each model. We'll probably get from there the best four or five. Okay. We'll get a test up there, we'll have some numbers, we'll have some data, and then we'll also come back in and conclude with the number one performer, uh, number one in terms of look, feel, sound, and okay. maybe talk about innovation as well with each. So, do cool. um, you have anything else to add? Otherwise, we're ready to hit some shots here. Let's hit some shots. Okay. Yeah. All right. So, Kevin, the Cobra Dark Speed is number one today, and that is a very unique new finish yeah. on, that, on that iron. I like it a lot. I do too. It reminds it's... me of the nickel finish to the wedges, the, the Vokey wedges. It does. Yeah. It does. Looks really good. It's, uh, I mean, look, you can't have something called dark speed and have it be like bright and flashy, right? It's, it's a good it really point. It needs to be kind of, kind of muted. Um, I like this a lot. They've done a, a great job of taking what two generations ago was a really bulky backside. Yeah. Taking that down, keeping forgiveness up, making it a, a better looking, you know, down at it kind of golf club. Yeah. The finish helps too, right? Um, a darker finish appears more compact. Mm -hmm. So it's uh, it's good. It's really good. I like I like looking down on it. Um, it's a pretty long blade length. Very forgiving. Sure. Yeah. Sure. All okay. right. Well, some good good feedback from Kevin on the appearance. Um, now it's about the performance, and uh, I imagine you'll be hitting these a good ways. I hope so. Yeah. I hope so. We'll see. There you okay, go. Cool. And so for the record, we should probably address what your typical seven iron numbers are. I know this is gonna, these are very different clubs than your yeah. irons, yeah, but yeah. we should at least get it out there. These definitely are designed for more springy than, yes. than what I yeah. typically so use. So you're going to spin a little bit lower. They're uh, going to travel a little farther. Than 170 you. carries kind of my number okay. with, with a seven iron. So usually at about 5,400, 5,500 RPM of spin and about 104 feet in the air. So, yeah, okay. that's, that's the height number. Feet. That's good. Height number's about right, yeah. It's good. Come on. 
Come on, drag man. There we go. Oh, Let's a little hanger. It's a tiny bit open there, I think. A little hanger. Yeah. I think I atoned for the last hanger. There we go. Yeah, you did. All right. Okay. So, okay. Cobra Dark Speed. You actually cl clipped that last one over 200 yards. Let's see. We've got, some would look at that one. as a good thing. Some would not. <laughs> this is the one you had to let face a little bit open. Yeah. Um, we'll call after. it the one. The one hiccup. We can leave the rest of those in there. Yeah. Yeah. That's a so, pretty. That's a pretty good dispersion. It's it's stupid good. Um, actually, so numbers up here: 87 club speed, 124 ball speed, 142 on the smash, about 43, 73 spin, and it's actually pretty consistent on the spin. Yeah. Um, the one you left open did go up to like 47, 4800, but yeah. that's. That's how that works. Yep. <laughs> it's exactly how yeah. that works. Yeah. So, um, and the, the distance is also very consistent across the board here too. I mean, your carry number is anywhere from 183 to 189. Um, this last mm -hmm. one is the, really the one that kind of just flew a tiny bit further than, than the others. But A little less spin on that last yeah, one. Yeah, yep. the spin went a little bit down, but yep. um, thoughts on, on dark speed here. This is, by the way, the strongest lofted one of the test. Ah, so, 27 yeah. degrees. Okay. Um, it feels strong. Yeah. It feels like the ball jumps off the off the face. Um, it's maybe going to be a little bit on the firmer side okay. uh, of iron. You know, some of these some of these irons with the way they're constructed now kind of feel like fairway woods, right? There, yeah. There's so much springy uh, effect in here. This feels very much like an iron, uh, which is which is good. You can tell where you catch it on the club face and. You know, numbers are numbers are fine. 100 feet in the air average is pretty decent. Um, you know, mm -hmm. the uh, what's our landing angle here? Because that's the that's the key. To me, that's the key component. Oh, I don't even have it up there. Yeah. That's, uh, I should probably add it up there. Yeah, let's I? put landing angle in there. Where do I find landing angle? Landing angle right over there. There we okay. go. Okay, so I'm looking for a a minimum of 45. Is, is if I can get it, yep. right? There are people out there that just can't get it, and that's okay. Uh, we get it, make it as high as possible. But so, uh, yeah, we got that forty-six point two. So, and that yeah. that yeah. qualifies. And we should note all of them, all of the shots, except for maybe you could you could be really nitpicky and count yeah. this one as yeah. under forty-five, but forty-four point seven. So, yeah. um, and I think, and I'll, I'll also think there's something to maybe I don't know if you've noticed this, but it seems like people generally swing with a shallower attack angle on mats and mm. therefore might get more spin out on the course actually. It's, yeah. That's the theory I have for my own game. But Well, it, it certainly happened to me too because I grew up in, in Ohio practicing off mats and I've got tendonitis in both wrists from hitting off the mats and I used to be much more steep than I am now. I'm very, I'm, I'm pretty shallow yeah. nowadays. I don't take much of a divot and that's almost by necessity uh, hitting off the mats is. Yeah, so awesome, there's, so. I think I think there's a lot of times people will ask, you know, isn't that spin way too low? And I typically I kind of think, well, yeah, that's probably too low yeah. for almost everybody. Or I shouldn't say almost everybody, but a lot of players. Yeah. But if you take that on the course, I bet your spin goes up yeah. quite a bit just because of hitting off of a softer and it's, ground. And you know, the, the mitigating factors, spin, height, and landing angle are our three control dynamics, yep. right? So everybody obsesses over, well, not everybody, a lot of people obsess over carry distance. And I do too. I, you know, if somebody comes in, they want distance. I'm, that's that's my goal right off the bat. Let's yep. let's find some more distance. But again, it's got to be it's got to be good, useful distance. Yep. If we, we've got something that's, you know, producing bad landing angles, and the ball's just going to run. That's that's just I'm not yeah. doing I'm not doing that person you can't, much good. You can't get away with on a lot of courses, running the ball up to the green with your right. irons. Um, you might be able to win a few holes, but yeah. on a lot of holes also there might be a bunker or a hazard or thick rough in the way yep. that. Won't let that happen. So, yeah. Um, all right. Okay. Good start from the dark speed iron. Indeed. Let's go to what have I got? TaylorMade. Yeah. TaylorMade QI. QI. How's that one look when you put that one down? Looks good. It's um, it's a different shape. Okay. Um, How's it different? Like it's, a little, it it's a little brighter. So there's a little more, a little more going on through here and what I I call the crotch. Yeah. You know uh, where the hosel enters to the, you know, next to the head and, and how yep. it rises up. It's, 
to me it looks a little bit different shape than maybe what I've seen in the past from TaylorMade. Okay. Subtle, but um, but it looks good. It's a, it's a nice looking club head. It's definitely a little shinier. Yeah. You know, but it's not it's not called dark QI. It's, it's <laughs> yeah. QI. So yeah. yeah. So I'm gonna choke this one down a little bit. This uh, this one I only had it a half inch over length. So you got KBS to her. Oh okay. Uh, C taper light. So okay. Okay. All right, and this one of note, one degree weaker at 28. Okay, cool. That felt really good. Looks really good. That also felt really good. Wow. Something about just a high draw that seems to land softly. We I like that. that. We love that. I like that, yeah. I mean, every shot is the same. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that the idea? <laughs> did I jinx it? Yep. I did. You did. I mean, it's funny. Curse, without, curse, curse of the announcer. It's funny how much further. He hasn't thing. missed one of these since he was in high school. Yep. There it is. There I was, striping it, nice high draw. Now I'm pushing it, pulling it. It's all your fault, Drew. <laughs> that one looks pretty good, right? That one's all right. Ooh, a little low spin, though. Ooh, okay. Good. So, QI irons, uh, more efficient with this one, and yeah. sli slightly, slightly more spin Okay. overall. Um, yeah. What did you think about the, is there a difference in feel between this yeah, one and this Dark Speed? Yeah, this does not feel quite as firm as the, okay. as the Dark Speed. This has a little bit more of that, like, springy okay. feel. Like, that feels hot. The Dark Speed feels hot, but it feels like an iron hitting it. This is a little more... Almost feels like a, Almost uh, a rescue club Almost or something. Yeah. yeah. Interesting. Okay. Yeah. I mean, it, it shows up. You got a higher smash factor. Uh, you're actually swinging it a little slower, but the speed <clears throat> and actually the carry was more or less the same, right? Yeah. So yeah. Uh, with the added loft, you hit it a little bit higher, tiny bit more spin. That makes sense. So, Golf clubs doing what they're supposed to do. Yeah, exactly. How about that? Exactly. So club number three, should you go to the Smoky AI Smoke? Sure. Smoky. All right, how about that one? So this one is definitely a different shape for Callaway. We talked about the crotch. Yeah. This is a much higher crotch than what, what Callaway's had in the past. Usually this cuts down pretty deep, and then the climb up to the toe is a little steeper, mm. which has always been a hallmark of, of a golf club that I really like the look of. Uh, I've always really liked Callaway's. And this uh, one's a little bit different in this that. One's, this one is a little different in okay. that, for sure. I do remember in our swing report testing of the AI Smoke that that AI Smart Face was, a, was really impressive in the testing. Yeah. So. Yeah. First impression is that sounded more thuddy. Yeah, it's kind of halfway. Wise. First swing, but kind of halfway between the two. Yeah, honestly. it was more of a thud, like yeah. a... Hitting a punching bag or something. There's some speed. Oof. Oh my goodness. Oof. A little more club speed on it too. Yeah, this one moves this one moves really easy. <laughs> this actually feels really good. Wow, you were just effortlessly swinging this one. Huh. That's weird. I'm not doing I'm really not trying to do anything different. No, I mean it's the same shaft, it's the same head. Seven iron, you know? That was a little toey. That one turned over a tad. Yeah. So this one is also at 28. So it's the same loft as the Q. Okay. And I think the spin is, seems like it's a little lower so far. I caught a little tiny bit of mat behind that one. 
can see the spin go down there. There's a reaction to hitting one a little thin. All right. Good. Callaway AI smoke. How about, so the numbers are interesting here. You swung this one considerably faster. I mean, considerably two miles an weird. hour. Yeah, it's just weird. But uh, again, we're using the same shaft. We've got, you know, it's just a seven iron head. Yeah. Um, so that results in more ball speed. Um, interesting though, the spin was down despite the fa faster. I'm not speed. terribly so. surprised. Um, the the major issue I had last year with the with first gen paradigm was if I didn't have somebody to hit it high, it was hard to put them into it because yeah. it didn't produce a ton of spin. I don't produce a ton of spin with irons anyway. So, you know, for me looking at forty two hundred It's on the low side. It's a little it's a little worrisome. Landing angle's still okay. Could yeah. Probably get away with it. Um but I'd, ultimately, I'd like a little more for, yeah. for customers, if possible. Yeah, yeah. Um, I think it's, especially if you were to get onto a firm green. Yeah. <clears throat> you know, if you get a soft green, typically, yeah. it doesn't matter what the spin is, that ball right. will stop. Sure. But if, I mean, if it's a firm green or firm conditions where the ball is bounding 10, 11 yards, yeah. that's where it becomes a problem after it lands. So. Um, but I like the feel. Feels really good. Looks nice and clean. I mean, it's... Good golf club. It's gonna fit. It's gonna fit a lot of people. Sure. Yeah. yeah. All right. Definitely, now this is uh, no issues with ball speed. I think this is the moment a lot of people are waiting for on this video. It's gonna <laughs> be the Cleveland Zipcore XL here. Okay. All right. So the Zipcore XL now. Um, look wise, how is it different? It is one added degree of loft yet again. So it's twenty nine. Okay, twenty nine. Cool. Yeah. So it should be potentially higher launching, higher spinning than the ones we've already tested. So, kind of reminds me of a dumb joke. A dumb joke? Yep. Okay, let's hear it. Horse walks into a bar. Bartender says, hey, pal, why the long face? It's got a long face. <laughs> okay. Get it? Yeah. That's pretty good. Yeah. We'll, uh, yeah, that's, we'll allow it on the channel. I need some comments in the... Uh, <laughs> I need some a YouTube comment right now if you're watching this. I need your, on a scale of 1 to 10, how you rate that joke. From Kevin. Dumb joke. I, I, I prefaced it by saying it was a dumb joke. <laughs> that's true, you did. Okay. So there shouldn't be the anybody guy, rating it the a guy, 10. The guy telling it might not be that bright There shouldn't either, be anybody rating it a 10. It should be like a five. Oh, no. No, no. Yeah. It's, yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah, I mean, it's... it's Long face. It is. It's definitely a long face. I like the look of this. It's a little deeper crotch. This goes to my yeah. aesthetic. Um, it looks friendly. It just looks like a very friendly golf club. Okay. Let's see how it performs. I thinned that a little bit. No, you did. I left that face open. Remember, folks, golf is hard. There is some distance. Is that, it's got a very distinct sound. It does. It's like, uh, I don't want to call it like the G425s of drivers a couple years ago. Not quite that bad. But it's, uh, it's very distinct compared to the other three. Yeah. See that? It's just weird because it sounds it doesn't sound like a solidly struck golf shot. But it was. It's just it's a very different it is, sound it's at a different solid sound. impact than yep. these three. Ooh, there's oh. a big poke. Turned her just a little bit more than normal. I don't think I've put my very best swings on this one, to be honest. Which is a little too bad. I don't want to. I don't want it to come off as not good. Let's do one more for giggles. Okay. There's a. That's better. Good swing to end on there. Oh, I turned it a lot. Though. Turned it. Huh. Okay. Okay. All right. So here's our uh, set for the Cleveland Zipcore XL. Okay. Um, think, like we mentioned, it's it's definitely different sound. It seems like it's I don't I don't know what it sounds like. It sounds like a, a an empty hollow body club, even though it does have a big cavity in it. So yeah, um, sounds probably not going to be for everybody. Yeah, I kind of yeah, you might be right. But let's 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 go over the numbers. Yeah, I mean the numbers. So. 
it's interesting, right? Because that is the highest lofted club. Yeah. Okay. So when it went the highest with the steepest landing angle, but the spin was lower. Mm -hmm. Now, if I go over here, it was maybe, it's maybe the farthest left on the dispersion or it's close. Yeah. So that could have something to do with it. Yeah. But like I said, I'm not sure I necessarily put my yeah, yeah. best my best group of swings on it, but um, but I like I like that it's doing what it's supposed to in the launch and and uh, height landing angle categories. That's that's the big one for me, landing angle. Forty eight. I mean, that's, 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 that's great. Right. Yeah. You know. So in terms of in terms of trajectory, we were higher with this than anything else. Yeah. And then carry wise, it finished third, but only. 0.2 yards behind equals second. Yeah. So that's pretty good. Spin rate is a little bit on the low side. You know, we try some different shafts and see if we can't change that a little yeah. bit. But I like the trajectory on this. I like the fact that it gets up in the air a yeah. little bit more. I mean, it's worth um, noting that the Zipcor XL did go farther than the QI, and it is weaker lofted than the QI. Now, that's pretty much a result of spin being 41 to 44. Yeah. But yeah. still worth noting, I think. Yeah. So um, I just think from a value perspective, this club being a little less expensive, mm -hmm. it definitely yeah, oh, totally. earns, a, earns a, a, a place at the table. Right? I think so too. Yeah. And mm -hmm. I like the look. I guess, I the think look is looking. great. Yeah. The performance is still really, really solid. I mean, we're, yeah. again, we're, we're, kind of our purpose here is to nitpick, right? And try to yeah. find the differences between right. them, you know? Um, and that's one of them is, is, is the spin element that will have to be a consideration in the fitting bay. But. And sound, you, everybody can make their own determination. Yep. There's a lot of people out there that love the 425 driver. Yeah, seriously. Also, VT Soul on that, still yes. awesome. Um, so, every Cleveland Trucks on Iron that has that, it's, we don't, we don't get to test it here with the mats, but in terms of turf interaction, it's, Exceptional. For somebody that does really get into the turf, yep. this can be very beneficial. Sometimes it's not the best fit for somebody that's really shallow. But, you know. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, let's, uh, we'll come back and wrap it up yeah. with uh, our final takeaways on uh, those three categories. So, Mr. Kraft, um, we got to go through our categories here okay. on the best of. So, we got performance, innovation, and then look, sound, and feel. Um, I'll start with performance since we got numbers in front of us to look at here. So this test, and then I can also let you sort of, because the numbers are kind of so similar and it's sort mm -hmm. of, you know, it's going to be player dependent on which is best from you. Can also maybe take me back to some of your fittings this year too so far when these, with these clubs. Of these four, if you were to pick one on performance, what's, what's your pick? What's your vote? Due to my obsession with spin height and landing angle, mm -hmm. especially height and landing angle, um, I'm actually going to give it to the to the Cleveland. Yeah. Uh, it, it gave us the steepest landing angle of the group. Mm -hmm. um, I like that. It was it was the highest launching. Yep. You know, ball speed was fine. It was the slowest ball speed, but uh, but the efficiency was was yeah the same across the board, with the exception of of TaylorMade. Um, yeah. I mean, it was. I don't think it was my best group of swings I've made today, but yet, you know, the numbers were good, and I really like that trajectory. Yeah, I think it's a really friendly iron for players. It is a very I mean, friendly iron. Like you yeah, said, no it's doubt about it. long face. Yep. Um, but there's <laughs> and there's also the elements of, like, a little bit high, higher uh, standard loft at 29 yeah. degrees. Um, so yeah. a little more there that yeah. it's from both, like, because it seems to me like most players that get fit for these types of irons actually need make sure they need enough loft. Yes, you know, and that's, and that's you know, really that's, the number one reason why I'm giving the performance to this golf club. Yeah. Because the height was higher, because the landing angle was higher. Yeah. Um, and maybe it's, maybe it's not completely apples to apples being that you know, everybody's got their own lofts, but yep. these, are, these are our offerings, right? Right. So that's, yeah, and that, that's what it is. And now, it, I mean. In, in that sense, it's fair. And right? it, totally, yeah. yeah. I mean, it's, it's in some senses, it wouldn't make sense to test them all the same loft because right. their standard That's loft exactly. isn't that, you know? Exactly. So, um, okay, innovation now. Um, okay. Again, this is a, a little bit different category, but the technological advancements made by each brand for that iron. Um, I know there's been some different, you know, different 
tech added to each of these before. Uh, I know like TaylorMade's got a new face tech that's supposed to be slice eliminating. Callaway's got their smart face down into the club uh, on the iron faces as well that they've all the way from irons to drivers. I know there's a lot of thinking. Yeah, I don't, I don't know, man. That's, that's a that's a that's a really tough question in terms of which one's the you know the 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 most. Yeah. Um, I don't know if I can make a choice. You're gonna make a yeah, make a tie. A, all four of them tied. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, um, well, we could we could potentially say that this didn't exist last year. So in terms of the uh, the innovation, this is actually the, yeah, the, that's the true. most Clearly innovative. Didn't have a, right? a, a true yeah for, um, the, for the masses game improvement iron. I mean, that's it's, yeah, <laughs> right. Um, <sighs> so we we can call it a no contest, I, a, no, yeah. a, a draw on the on the innovations. I mean. Probably, oh golly, I don't know. I really don't know. The QI is a lot better feeling than the uh, than stealth. Than stealth. We can go so, with that. So, so I like that. We've got smart face. Yep. Which I mean, obviously dominated the wood, the driver category for yep. us. So, you know, if we're just going to go, I suppose, purely off of who's leading the pack in pure innovation, it's probably got to be Cal. Okay. okay. Okay, yeah. I, I, that we've but we've given a lot of high remarks on the smart yeah. face already. Yeah. So uh, they have that technology down on the iron, yeah. big deal for sure. Um, now speaking, of, you mentioned feel. So in the kind of the looks slash sound slash feel category, is it tailor-made? Yeah, it, it is. is. Okay. It is. Yeah, I thought, I thought this... <sighs> I mentioned that this sort of feels a little bit more like a fairway wood yeah. or a hybrid type iron. It feels very springy. springy. It feels pretty soft. Um, I just thought this was overall the the one that felt the best coming off the coming okay. off the club. And looks wise, I mean looks wise, I'm actually gonna give it to the Cleveland uh, the Cleveland. I thought the overall look of, of this to me aesthetically is is a mm. little bit better. Um, but the sound feel sound yeah. sound we're not going to give that to Cleveland. yeah right right uh, right that's that's not the the tone i really like um really i i guess maybe from a sound perspective probably back in taylor made yeah though callaway is really really close i thought those two were, were probably yeah. the, the closest in terms of the that you know oral response right. and and we should so we'll note again the look sound feel part is Player dependent. Oh as, yeah, absolutely. You know, I mean, player, just, very player dependent. This is just, just getting Kevin's take yeah. on things, and just because I like it doesn't mean anybody else should. Yeah, but right? um, I mean, we're we just still wanted to, to get provide the feedback anyway yeah. for you yeah. on these. So, um, but these are four great irons. Um, I think clearly we saw a lot of distance. Mm -hmm. I actually really like how steep the landing angles are for all of them, uh, yeah. despite you know they're, they're, the uh, lofts are getting stronger. We can talk about loft jacking and all these things, but as long as the ball is going high enough and landing at a steep enough angle and can stay there on a, especially on a soft green and you're not going to have a big concern about how strong or weak that loft is correct so. people really shouldn't worry too much about lofts it's that's kind of your it, job really i mean right that's, that's the finish well, shot. yeah yeah <laughs> if you come in for a fitting you worry about swinging i'll worry about all the rest but <laughs> you know i don't worry about the in our perfect world you know this would say this is my 170 club right yeah and, and there, wouldn't, there wouldn't even be a number or, because yeah. it doesn't matter what the number is as long as it the tool has a purpose and we meet that purpose and then we do it with a good spin height landing angle combination so that we can make the ball stop. Yep. Um, I don't I don't get too lot too wrapped up in loss lofts. It's all about hitting the numbers that we're looking for. Yep. Exactly. Yeah. And that's what so these irons can do for you. So. Yeah. Go for schedule that fitting, get with someone like Kevin in the tour van, um, trade in your old irons to upgrade and, and save on that new set. Yes. And um, you'll be playing better golf. So Kevin, thank you for joining and uh, get some great stuff in here. Yeah, those were, those were really good.